What's up guys, it's Dan from Dan's Reptiles here. Welcome back to another video. This will be a reptile room for September 2024. Not much has changed, just got a new setup and next month hopefully I'll have a new animal as well. But yeah, let's get to it. So this is Sunshine, she is my female Murray River Turtle, and this is her setup. It's a six foot custom made aquarium. This also houses six goldfish and three sucking catfish. It also used to house a pleco, a little pleco, but, but yeah, she kind of ate that. And she also ate the six jabbies I put in for her to eat. The pleco was the only fish I did not want her to eat, but she, decided to eat that first before she even had the feeder yabby and for some reason she doesn't like these goldfish she's decided to befriend them even though they are food but yeah her setup's pretty basic it's got a nice little turtle ledge in the middle there just gravel substrate it's got a whole bunch of things for the fish to hide in on the right there I've got a whole bunch of extra stuff that was supposed to be for the pleco so he could get away as well as the yabbies so they had more of a chance to live a uh, couple fake plants in there. There was a real plant in there that you guys can see. I'll just take you guys off the, the tripod here. See all that floating there? She's decided to pick it out of the ground and actually start eating it. But yeah. It's got a panel light on top. Still awaiting to get that fixed. Uh, filter, just got two little waterfalls. That one on this side's broken. And that one's there, still going strong. I want to get her a bigger setup, I want to take her outside, but it depends on space and time at the moment, and money. But yeah, that's sunshine, and I'll feed her for you guys now. So she just eats turtle pellets, but she also again eats yabbies, fish, but apparently plants now too. She decided to go for the full, full diet instead of just the meat. So she decides to realise that there is food. There we go. Yeah, I've had this girl since I was 12 years old, back in 2014 we got her. She was the size of a 20 cent piece. And now she's almost the size of a dinner plate. So yeah, she's probably 10 years old now. Yeah, she'd be 10 years old. There you go, she's the oldest reptile I have, by far, actually not really by far, about a year or two. And the way you can tell that this is a girl is the tail size, so she's got a nice little short stumpy tail on the back there. Males will have a long tail. But yeah, that's Sunshine. If you guys have any questions on her, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll move on to the next animal. Up in this enclosure houses my two pink tongue skinks. You've got Crash and you've got Squirt. The reason for those names is because one was significantly larger than the other. And we've moved them up here officially. This used to be where the lace monitor was, if you guys saw last month's reptile room. I've now officially put the pink tongues in here. So I'm glad that they're in here. It's a lot better of a setup. Still pretty basic, but it gives them a lot more room to climb, run, hide, and all that type of stuff. And I'll go through the setup now. So this is the setup. It's just a two foot by two foot reptile one enclosure. Custom rock wall at the back. Good. Uh, Queen peat at the bottom there for substrate, and then you've got eucalyptus mulch and hardwood chips at the top here. So I'm just trying to focus. Got three hides that's the hot hide, so that's the heat man underneath. Got a middle coconut hide, and then you've got the cold hide over there. Water dish, got half a builder branch, got a fake plant there. Up here is the first pink tongue that looks like squish. Like we're getting for you guys. That's Squish. So he's the smaller one of the two. And they get the name Pink Tongue obviously because they have a pink tongue. These guys look similar to the Blue Tongue Skink except they're a lot more long and slender. 
So here's Crash. He's a lot more skittish than Squish. Let's see if we can get some climbing action. Ugh. Where up here? No, he doesn't want to climb. Yeah, they're pretty cool animals. They're going to get a lot bigger than this. Probably double the size, but they are growing now. We've got the space. They're going there. I'm going to move your hide back that way. Yeah, if you guys want to see any videos on them, I'll feed them for you guys now. If you guys want any videos on them, let me know. I'm going to be making a video on me setting this up for them. But yeah, I'll feed them for you guys now. Dog food with some turtle, not pellets, turtle pellets, um, lizard pellets in it. It has all the vitamins and oh, minerals and all that in it. Let's try and find Squish. Squish is a lot more social than Crash. If we find Squish, we'll get him to eat. Usually when I move the plate, he notices. Birdie. So in this next enclosure is Striker. There we go. Here's my blonde spotted python. This opens. There we go. This is his setup. It's just a three foot reptile one enclosure. Custom rock buck around there. Got a heat mat underneath this hide. We'll get this out now that he's eaten. Just quickly scoop that out. Sorry, boy. <sighs> Deal with that later. But yeah, very bright colours. Uh, Queer peat substrate. Just going to keep a couple fake plants. The other half of the builder branch. Water dish. Pretty basic setup. I want to find him a partner. I found a couple that look like him, but just don't have the time and space at the moment. I'd want to get a bigger setup if I'm going to have two in this size enclosure. I've done a couple uh, setups on him and his setup. I'll put it in the link in the description. So you guys, if you want to know how to look after a blonde spotted python, there'll be a setup video down there for you. But yeah. yeah you can see some of his colours, but it doesn't do any justice. He's actually my first snake. Highly recommend him as a first snake to buy, as they don't get too big. He'll get a little bit bigger than this, and that'll be his max length. They are part of the family of the smallest pythons in the world. You also got the pygmy python, which is the smallest one of the group. Then you got the children's python. You got this guy, the spotted python. Then you got the Stimson's python. I know there's a lot of talk between the Stimson's python and the children's python being the same, like species or very similar species. They're not. I don't agree. I reckon they're completely different. Same as the spotted python. But everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But yeah, that's Striker. Moving on to the next animal. Just here, got woodies, got superworms, got crickets, all the carrots in there. There's some woodies there. There's all the superworms. The crickets are in there. All the food, all the goods. And here is just a spare tank at the moment. This, will be, this was going to be the goanna's enclosure when I got him back out here, but I decided to put him outside instead. But he's he's doing good out there. You, see, you guys will see him in a minute. So yeah. All right, we're outside now. Just got the three Averys here, and then also got the pit over there. We'll go from this side first. So this is Mushu, my male eastern water dragon. We'll go through his setup now. So this is his setup. Nice big Avery for him. I'm hoping to get another female for him since Medusa sadly passed away earlier last year. I think it was actually this year, sorry. There's Mushu there. Nice big waterfall there. Got three different little palm plants. Uh, fake rock there. Hardwood substrate. I like these because I'm able to actually walk in and interact with the animal. Got the power point at the back there that powers the pump. I do plan on getting a heat light to go on top there. Got a branch here that he always goes on. That's one of his favorite branches. If he's not there, he's up here. He always loves to be up high. Got a bamboo back in. Got an LED fluoro there. That also turns on with the other two fluoros, but each power point is turned on individually. I'll go through that setup with you guys shortly. So there's Mushi there. He currently eats super worms. He'll go crickets and woodies if he really wants to. He's never been really been a salad eater. I thought he would be going as a saddle, salad eater as he grows up, but he never really took to it. I'll take, you, take him out for you guys now. So this is Mushu. The way you can identify if it's a male or female is simply by that red stomach. It's a very, oh, very bright red or very dark red. 
he goes really bright red when he's nice and fired up. He's actually quite cold at the moment. So he actually gets a lot brighter than this. He will get a little bit bigger than this. They get to around four feet. So he's probably just shy of three feet. So he's, and that's head to tail too. So most of it is generally tail. But he's still a very beautiful lizard. I love the spines of them too. Yeah, that's an issue. I'll pull out the next animal for you guys. Moving on to this enclosure. This is Crystal, my female diamond python's enclosure. It's the same size as all three of them. They're all the same size. I'll go through that setup with you guys now. It's a very similar setup, except she's got the little basking ledge over the back there. That's just a fake rock kind of thing. That's actually my first little fake rock thing that actually turned out good. So, yeah, round of applause for me. Uh, Hardwalk su substrate as well. She's also got a palm plant there. She's got a little tree that's actually in the ground there. Branches all around so she can climb. They're actually screwed together so they don't fall off. That's screwed to the wall so she can't break it. That's screwed together. A little arboreal hide there that she always sits in all the time when the sun. And a little hide, little, but that's got koi pit inside. That's usually where I wanted her to go, but she actually chills there every night. Ugh. So there's Crystal. I won't play with her at the moment. She did just eat a large rat. But yeah, I hope to find her a partner soon. I'm actually looking for a male at the moment. There's one that I've got at the moment talking to the bloke, so hopefully I can bring him home. He's a beautiful high yellow. So that'd be a good one for her if she actually likes him. But yeah, that's Chris. If you guys have any questions on her, let me know in the comment section down below. And without further ado, moving on to the next animal. So in this enclosure houses this little girl. That is my potentially female Bell's Face Lace Monitor. She's going to want to climb straight up to my shoulder. Might as well let her. I'll go through... I'll go through her enclosure with you guys. She's only little. She's getting bigger slowly, but she's also in shed on the tail here. She's not a not a happy chap. She's usually quite skittish and defensive. But she's getting better. Don't whip me in the face, please. Oh, don't go in there. We'll go through her enclosure with you guys. I'll bring you in now. Oh, she's actually there. <laughs> They're excellent climbers. But yeah, we'll go through her enclosure with you guys now. So she's, it's only basic at the moment because I only just moved her out here last week. Got a log there that she can go up on. That's just cable tied to the mesh there. Got a big basking log there that she chills out on in the morning. A little hammock there. Uh, basking bricks there that she, there's a rat that she didn't eat. Uh, hardwood chips as well. I plan on turning this into. Um, What's it called? Eucalyptus mulch. Got a little hot hide at the back there with Koi Pete with a heat mat underneath. Got two heat lights that I've set up. If it's cold, I'll turn them on so she can go bask there. But her favourite hide, she's actually created herself. She's decided to rip all this. I've had to find her underneath this. So she'll crawl up in there. But the other one's also fallen off. So she's very creative. She's, her new nickname's going to be Houdini. But here she is. She's a beautiful girl. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on her. I'm tapping the focus button with my nose. <laughs> Bring her over here so you can actually see her eyes. She's a beautiful girl. Stunning colours. Yeah. Let's see if she'll go back in on her own. Let's see if she's learnt. Don't hiss at me. There we go. Come on. Two more. There we go. She's a beautiful animal. Again, excellent climber. So she's currently on rats. I do plan on putting, giving her some chicken hearts and chicken liver, chicken necks. Give her all the best foods. But yeah, that's Luna. Moving on to the next animal. In this little outdoor setup that I made. Ugh, that's just a tub with mesh, the cable tied together. Works perfectly. Is a baby water dragon. 
So I dare say he'll either be under this or under the water dish. So just hard wood chips. This has only got a temporary setup until he gets a bit bigger because usually he'll f fit right between the mess cubes. He's not under there. Where is he? Alright, I'm going to have to find him for you guys. Here he is. Whoop. Hey. There he is there. He's only little. He's growing slowly. I want him to grow a lot faster. He should be growing a lot faster. I don't know if he's got stunt growth or something. But he shouldn't because he's always had the correct lighting. He's been outside most of his life. He's always got food. Like, I literally just saw three crickets running around. So, I don't know. I hope he gets bigger. Down he goes. He's not really a show animal. But, that's him. That's his little setup. If you guys want to see more on him, let me know in the comment section down below. But, yeah, that's the little water dragon. And I'll move on to the last tank of the video. Now, in this big aviary, well, not really aviary, pit, houses three animals. Two blue tongues and a shingleback skink. I'll be feeding these guys today too, so stay tuned for that. Hardwood chips, got a whole bunch of hides everywhere, got grass growing. It's all happening in here. Yeah. Oh, fancy that, all three of them are in here. First off is, will be Dwayne, because he looks like he's on top of everyone. Dwayne is my shingleback skink. Ugh. There he is there. I'll put him out, because I'm going to put some food in there soon. Beautiful boy. Second up, looks like it's going to be Maximus, or Maxine. Still don't know the gender, haven't got him sexed yet. Is my behemoth blue tongue skink. Put her out or him out. She's about a kilo of just pure blue tongue. And in here is Whitey. My albino blue tongue skink. Don't be like that. Why are you being like that? <laughs> there you go. Albino eastern blue tongue skink. We'll put them all out and we'll get some food in there for you guys. Alrighty, Dwayne's already into it. Just the rest of the dog food. See if anyone's interested in some superworms. <laughs> Dwayne's always the first of the food usually. We'll bring the lizards back over here so we can give them a fair share. There's Maximus. She doesn't like to come near the food when I'm here, but I'll happily throw her a superworm or two to get her attention. As Dwayne devours the dog food. I might have to put more dog food in there for him. Superworms for you, and here comes Maximus. She's had she's had the sniff for it now. And Whitey, Whitey's being Whitey. That's a confusion at the moment. Usually Maximus and Whitey actually will eat the dog food once Dwayne's finished, but it looks like they're not there. Oh, Dwayne's going back in for more. <laughs> Have to get some sauce with his superworm. But yeah, that's it for this reptorium, guys. If you guys have anything you'd like to ask, make sure to comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see more. And I'll talk to you all later.